Hey, Oyster River students. Um, it's Ms. Casmus here and the counseling, all the other counselors. Um, we hope you are all doing well and you're hanging in there and ready to take on this adventure that we are on right now. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, as I said, I'm Ms. Casmus. I'm one of the school counselors. And we are about to talk about what remote counseling will look like as we proceed over the next couple of weeks. Um, Secret about myself is I've always had a goal of creating videos for students um, in order to share information, but never did I think it would have taken such an event to make that happen. So I appreciate and thank you all for watching this and I don't know, just go on having this journey with us. We are living history right now and we are, you know, being asked as world citizens to do what we can to lessen the curve. So we recognize that you like, likely all have a lot of questions and we are hard at work to gather the necessary answers um, that you are waiting for. Um, we will be sending out a survey in the next couple of days and we were going to ask if you could take that just to and we're going to just kind of question try to see where you're at what, what your needs are and what the first thing we need to focus on to work to get you that information. Um, so just you know if you can begin to think about your needs and the questions you have during the next two days of this soft rollout um, then we want your feedback and then we will be hard at work to try to answer those, ease, ease your concerns um, and be ready to move forward. Um, unlike Ms. Casimus, I never thought I would be hitting one in front of a camera. Um, and just a week and a half ago, I said, I don't think I will ever Zoom from home, but look at me now. So I look forward to working from you in a new capacity. Um, and with that, all of our, all of the resources are still available to you. As you can see um, here, not just us four school counselors, but everybody in the counseling department is here for you. And we just want to make sure that you still know how to access us, even while you are in the comfort or sometimes discomfort um, <laughs> of your of home with, um, with your families. Um, and again, I just hope, again, window into my world, I'm just hoping that my families will behave while, while I'm here with you. Um, so if, if you look at the next slide, um, these are the ways that you can reach out to us. Some of them are just the same as they've always been. So if you want to, we, we are going to be holding some hours where we're available. And so you are just going to still go online um, onto the counseling webpage and click your counselor and you can book an appointment. You'll see when we're available um, and to see what would work for you. If none of the times on um, our bookings page are available, you would just, you can just reach out to us via email and we will get back to you and we'll try to find a time that would work for um, both of us. Um, and so with that booking, uh, we can have video conferences. So we'll be able to have one-on-one -on -one conversations with you like this. Um, so all, always we have email. And the other thing is you can give us a call. We, you will, um, if you go to the website or in our emails, it has our, e our phone numbers, our school emails, and we are having them routed so we are able to access phone calls um, through our normal school school phone number. Again, we are not always going to be available. Um, we are not always going to be able to answer the phone call or email immediately, but we're going to do our best to be as responsive as we can um, in these sort of new, new way of interacting. So um, again, this is new for all of us. We are, there's going to be lots of learning curves for all of us. And so sometimes I might be seeking out your expertise as we navigate the digital um, world. And so I think that this is sort of, I'm embracing it as a, I don't want to say exciting, but given what, we're what we have, I'm looking forward to this sort of new adventure and being as positive in sort of these challenging times and uh, su supporting, supporting you all. And Ms. McNoff is gonna talk a little bit about some other ways to stay connected. Yeah, so as we've mentioned many times, things are a little bit different than just popping down to the office um, or having a counselor show up in your classroom or offer a flex programming um, while you're in the school building. So a lot of our information that we're gonna be delivering is gonna be through Schoology and it's gonna be through your school email. So it's gonna be really important that you keep your school email um, up to date, you're checking that regularly, um, and that you register for the Schoology group for your class. 
Um, and that information is going to be in the email that we are sending. So you can add the group um, ID in and you're going to be able to join that and see the resources we have available to you, as well as um, programming that we're going to be putting out throughout um, our time when we're remote learning. Um, for those of you who haven't had your course selection meetings, um, we've had a few questions about that. We're going to be doing that. Counselors will be reaching out to you directly. So you can expect an email from your school counselor um, to let you know when a time would be for, for us to meet and talk about your courses for next year. Um, next slide, thanks. Um, so being online is a little bit different than having the ability to come talk to a school counselor if you need some assistance. Um, one of the things that's gonna change quite a bit in our office is the way that we deliver our services. Um, unfortunately, because of the situation, us being at home, um, confidentiality isn't um, something that we're able to guarantee and adhere to our guidelines and ethical standards in our profession. Um, some of those services are going to look a little bit different. Um, we are still here to support students and we are still here to offer um, advice and direction and connect people with resources. Um, but that's going to look a little bit different as we move forward. Um, sometimes um, there's going to be um, times when students need to talk to us, we're not going to be available. Also, there's internet difficulties, disruption in services and things like that that are going to kind of come up. So we're going to ask you to um, if you are interrupted during a call or a video chat, to just be patient. Your counselor will attempt to reconnect with you at the time. Um, and lastly, we're asking teachers, families, um, and all of our school counselors um, to access our emergency services when needed. So if there is a student um, who is unsafe and we need to seek assistance, we'll be doing that through our community resources, including um, 911. So we do um, have some support for mental health emergencies, uh, despite not being able to do that in person with your school counselor. Um, and academic supports are available. Um, remote learning definitely is new for everyone, so that's mm -hmm. going to look a little bit different for um, every student. But if you're having trouble in your classwork, um, the best contact is going to be your teacher. You're going to start there um, and ask questions about coursework. Your teachers are available for email and video chats, so they're going to be able to have conversations with you and try to help you through um, the struggles that you might be having. Um, math Lab will be accessible for students, so we'll have more information on how to access the Math Lab um, coming soon. Um, and if you feel like you need some additional assistance and you're not sure quite where to go, you can always reach out to your school counselor um, and we can help navigate the academic supports for you. So really right now, I, in my personal life, in my professional life, everywhere I go, I'm I know I all I know that is certain is that everything is uncertain and with uncertainty can definitely come worry and anxiety um, no matter what what we're talking about but right now we're talking about something pretty pretty serious so a lot is being thrown at us a lot is being thrown at you no matter where you are in your high school career you're just beginning you're in the middle you're just ending um, you're probably struggling with with the, the big what if the big what's the big unknowns and um with that is something called the fear of the unknown and it can really uh cause somebody to real to really worry and it's really important during those during times of worry to be what i call appropriately selfish um, any of you who have talked to me in the office i use the word selfish and i use it to indicate something positive you have to take care of yourself if, if you're not your best self um you can't you can't meet the demands that are being put on you to try, you know, to, to try school and to keep school going at the level that you care about in a completely new format. Um, so you have to, you're going to have a lot of time on your hands with, by staying home. And it's really important to have some unstructured time to just unwind, but also to, you might want to, to create a routine to, to just assure that you are um, taking care of your emotional health as, as well as your physical health while you're out. So make sure you carve out time to take care, to, to practice self-care positively and appropriately. Um, it's really hard for me to say what that should look like for you because every individual student is just that, an individual. And uh, you need to sort of build a routine that has some unstructured time that's just for you and is really structured to get work done and just balances the needs to, the need to's with the want to's. Um, what is it that makes you 
makes you happy? Is it music? Is it, is it YouTube? If it's YouTube, you're, you're in luck because a lot of what we're going to be doing is online. If it's videos, if it's gaming, if whatever it is, make sure that you can work it in. Um, make sure you try to keep that face, uh, that I say FaceTime, but really that digital time or with that social time with those people around you that make you feel good, those friends uh, and those peers that, that you might not see every day. Make sure you find time to connect with them in, in a certain way too. And don't be afraid to, to try something new. If, you, if you've been kicking around, kicking around the idea of trying something like uh, relaxation or yoga or some mindfulness, give it a try. Worst case scenario, it doesn't work, but you've tried. Um, this can be a great time of exploration for you as well to, um, to, to try to take on some new, new hobbies, new things that um, have been sort of ruminating in the back of your mind as things you might, might have wanted to try. You have time now to, to try those things out. I'll just move my video here so you can see, my, see the graphics. And again, just some more graphics that um, really we try to, we're trying to re reiterate taking care of yourself. Um, we're going to let, we're going to let the academics speak for themselves. We're going to, your, your teachers are working really hard at trying to continue to deliver quality education remotely and that's coming. And that is something that they're going to speak to better than we can, but we really want to promote um, physical and emotional wellness during this time too. And um, I guess one silver lining is spring is coming and it's a great time to get outside, go for a walk, go for that run, do whatever again, do whatever is positive in your life that makes you happy and, 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 and keeps, you, keeps you grounded because you're gonna need that during these times. I know I need it. I, I know my, my colleagues need it too. Um, and if we need it, you need it. We're all human and, and we need to do it. So again, as, as we move throughout this journey, as we go through the next, um, next couple of days and as we get into really rolling everything out next week, we're going we're gonna to talk about more, more information around, around these topics when, when, we get the, when we get that information and we're going to share it with you. Uh, we're going to do emails, we're going to do Schoology, we're, we're, we're going to do everything we can to try to promote this aspect of, um, of, these, of these uncertain changing times. All righty. And then again, what are some things you can do while you're away from school? Um, you can journal. This is a really, this is a, hopefully this bullet is the journal. only time. Yes, bullet <laughs> journal. It's, don't ask me, but ask Ms. Kastner, she'll, tell, she'll help. But this is a great opportunity to, to journal what is going on in your lives because you're experiencing it for the first time, at least for the last time, like we all are. Um, you know, some, some people who've worked in our school district have done it for decades, and this is the first time they've experienced it. And hopefully this is the first, you know, first and last time you're experiencing it. Journaling this very uh, trying time might help you reflect on it now and in the future uh, as well. Um, a great time to write a letter to somebody, uh, that, that old school writing. Write a letter. Um, think about what you all start creating a list of all the things you want to start doing when, uh, when we get back to, to our normal, normal routine. Get outside, watch a movie. Netflix is, uh, Netflix is not hurting for subscribers right now. Those streaming services are not hurting. They're, they're, my kids are very happy. Frozen 2 is out three months early. Um, movies that were coming to movie theaters are streaming early instead of hitting the theaters. This is a great time to start doing some of those things. Um, and again, don't be afraid to try new things. And this, this list right now uh, that is on the screen is certainly not a comprehensive list and not everything on here is going to be for everyone. But um, these are coping skills and coping skills, skills are a lot like tools. There's no one tool to do every job. There's no one coping skill uh, that will work for everyone, but we're starting a list now. Feel free to add to it. Feel free to do your thing. And when we have more, we will share it with you as well. And like I said before, there is more to come. This is um, one week ago. We, we had nothing because we didn't know we were doing this. And here we are now, and we've done a lot in just a few days. And your teachers have done a lot, and you've done a lot. And we're going to continue to do a lot more 
uh, during this time apart and just just stay connected with us. Don't be afraid to reach out with any questions and just keep checking. And as, as previous counselors have, have said, keep monitoring that inbox and we want to get you on Schoology. We want to get ourselves on Schoology up and running and we're already, we're there, but um, we want to get, get some stuff on there. So please stay plugged into us and don't be afraid to reach out with anything. Alrighty. I'm just going to add in two little reality. Um, my children are outside the door right now trying to sneak <laughs> underneath the door. I saw you guys turning around. Things to me. <laughs> Am I that uh, boring? Yes. Um, oh, so yeah, patience <laughs> is going to be super yes, helpful. Patience with all of us. <laughs> <laughs> it could happen. It could happen. Those of you that hear about my children all the time, you're probably going to get to meet them at some point via video. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> they don't listen well. <laughs> Or my husband. <laughs> this is what, like, hey, everybody, we've got to make the lemonade yeah. out of lemons. Yeah, and right. so we all, I think, just laughing at myself that that what's happening in my world over here, <laughs> just have to laugh. So if you want to laugh at me, have at it. Um, mm -hmm. We could use a good laugh, everybody. Yeah. We are going to get through this. Um, we're going to get through this and we're going to be okay. And we're, and we're just going to, we're going to keep moving. So just know that and remind yourself of this. Mm -hmm. We are, we are part of your village. And so we're here. So just make sure that you reach out, just get in touch with us. Yeah. We're in this together, everybody. Mm -hmm. So we are. We got it. Oh, okay. yep, there you go. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know if that was the last slide. See? Are we not? Okay. <laughs> oh. 